So yes, finally, 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 we're back with another, of course, Pokemon video. Did just kind of wake up a little bit. Well, I did not really, just getting the video prepared. How we've been way down with this by now. But I woke up a little bit um late this morning-ish. So yeah, good to go ahead and get started. We got the Galio Park. So of course, yes, they all are wearing armor. We got the armor squad up here. The new Ultra Team squad, you know, Ultra Beast squad. No, no, I just got the Pokemon. So I'm going to be in my head. So yeah, of course, I'm going to jump right into stuff like that. This episode actually is really interesting, mainly to the end, and I actually do like it. So yeah, um... Again, I try to upload this video as soon as I can because, again, I've been recording personally for me. I've been recording so much lately, it's just been kind of chaotic and crazy. So, um, I'm not going to face game way too bright, but I don't care. So, let's get started. Of course, we got the day starting out with Ash Go. I'm using far fetched sticks to kind of train up like swords. I kind of do like gimmick of it. So, yeah, go to get demolished. Of course, we can choose the happy, center race, just like making like the drunk face is like what happened i woke i just woke up see of course you know that's stuff like that super excited of course um but of course then i'm um, go kind of goes on okay so, that's on the phone so, okay that was bad that something fell over there whatever and of course we got ash stuff like that of course training over here um of course then the foul um, far fetch of course had to turn up himself so yeah and of course um they want to get sharper together and of course um right now um, actually has an idea of you know, second yeah. Um, Red X had the idea of answer Reef, of course, I have the idea for Ash to go to a train college with, um, I think with Storm? With, I'll call him like with God or whatever, with Storm, I'll call him God. With Storm, um, and of course, in Galar, so they had to train up so they can have more of a bond between Ash and Far Galar Farfetch. And of course, he decided to go, so then they're both excited. The Sather X except to come in, he wants to go too, so he can train up as well. So yeah, of course, now they go back to college, which I actually do like, though, of course. I mean, I know it was like Serena, but no, it's, it's not exactly. So, yeah, they arrive at the um, castle. He, again, he's one of the leap forward from, from Carlos. He's still trying to pretend he goes down like freaking with my download plane. He went down. And of course, I can go over super excited to see a castle. And of course, that's where um, Windstorm lives. Or Wickstorm. I'll call him Wickstorm. Um, I like a tower from like an ad or whatever. Makes sense, though, because he's wearing a lot of armor. And um, he actually specified himself as a knight, you know. He loved battling. He's put um, a lot of bug type. Uh, not bug type, but more steel type. He just kind of mixed it up with Scizor, because I know he just had that with Scizor. Um, so yeah. Um, so because they arrived there, they're super shocked and stuff like that. See him. Um, it's Age Slash, I love, again, some, a lot of colors Pokemon I love. Um, Age Slash, of course, goes in and stuff like that, of course. Um, then of course, was a call, I'm just surprised, uh, you know, Shivery, you know, uh, him, but, you know, he's excited to um, see them both grow and stuff like that. And of course, Ash, um, Future of Galilee, Farfish, it was be like, a, um, kind of like a Sword Master, not Sword Master. Um, Sword Master, I think, Ren 2 or Ren 10. Um, from like the last episode I reviewed. For Galia Farfetch, I believe he wanted to do some of the eight. So it was really cool though, of course. Um, of course they also wear armor and stuff like that. Yeah, we got the armor squad right here. So yeah, of course all um the claim what they want to do, the way what they want to um, do the Pokemon stuff like that, have a greater bond. Of course, Galia Farfetch was really interested. When I saw this for the preview, I was like, yep, gonna do it. I feel like I think this was gonna be first in the Chloe episode. But yeah. Then of course so they um they start to um, have more views of the castle, which I actually do like though. Then of course um they um Blitz on um, Storm um Wick uh um, Wick Storm Wick Storm um that's how I pronounce it. I'm sorry I can't try to pronounce it any, any other way. Unless I figure out here like a full transition. I know it doesn't have like a wick, but I call it like wick um storm. It's like storm but like that's a O between the it's like O than the R I think. Um I don't know how it's structure. Of course now he starts playing the rules of the castle where they were on again um it's like an H slash oh yeah, it's like H slash like gold um metal. So yeah, of course they start to um get fired up and stuff like that. He just, just kinda of explained the rules what they um need to do in a castle. Then of course um they start to um of course the other thing is like, oh yeah, great victory and stuff like that, yeah. Um then of course Farfetch is super hyped up and stuff like that. Of course Ash is a well and Pikachu of course says pine, so it's kinda of like you know serve and stuff like that. So I guess it's just only them and the Pokemon. So yeah, it's go inside there and um Ash and um Go ahead, Farfetch. So yeah, again, Pikachu can um, stay behind, so like, you know, um, because not like with this stuff like that. So yeah, it's cool. Um, we see what got in the Pikachu. So I kind of like it. Though. Then, of course, they start to go on and stuff like that. Then they start to meet their um. They start to um. Okay, yeah, they start to go on. And they start to see like all the Pokemon around them. Of course, Go used to, um. You know, Go Kadex. <laughs> um, to um, kind of see all the Pokemon. So Pro Pass um kind of comes in. So I tried to stop them. Of course, you know. Like, not, it's not like it's like the first, like, kind of main big trial thing. Of course, Ash, um, go, you know, fight through Scyther and, um, yeah, Ash, you go fight through Scyther and Galia Farfetch are to fight through as well. Of course, you know, they started charging, especially Ash, you already know how it's gonna be. So, of course, they, have, they try to hold them back, but of course, you already know they're gonna keep moving forward. They start to see more views going to the castle, then next, going on to the next day, battling and stuff like that. It's kind of cool, you know, of course, with, with Storm, um, with Storm is, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just like, you know, um, crying, you know, shivery. <laughs> I'm so proud. Let's uh, keep going this episode. So, yeah, I like this episode. It's kind of more of a comedy, really, from this episode. Which is cool. Again, we've seen, like, we never really seen, like, any of the colors we before, which is kind of cool. We get some more rest of, um, presentation of them and stuff like that. Of course, we start to go to the next part of the castle. Um, then, of course, um, more of a cave, like, area inside of the castle. So, you like, weapons and armor. Now, weapons, just more armor weapons and stuff like that. Could have started, um, then they start to kind of examine what's around them and stuff like that. Um, 
This one right here, of course, on West Coast, I tried to hold back Pikachu so he can, um, you know, um, I think, I think he holds back Pikachu because Pikachu wants to go with Ash, but I think he holds him back. So, like, um, so he can face on all the trials together and stuff like that, so, so yeah, um, then of course, you know, um, then Ash and Go start to kind of get separated. Yeah, Go gets caught in the cage, then they start to, um, go to a different area. Of course, um, I don't know, they, they just battle, um, what, X, X Cop Lillier? I think that was the name of it, yeah, X Cop Lillier. Um, of course, Scyther and Go are gonna be excited to see it. Of course, Wizcott, um, is trying to, um, see Ash, two more Ash to progress and stuff like that. He sees, he sees, like, a mini trap like the Dene. Then, of course, Ash gets shot because he's wearing armor on top of that, so yeah. It gets, like, Beyblade armor. It's, it's, it's barely there, so yeah. Wizcott, um, starts to see more as, um, Ash goes progress. Of course, um, God of Farfetch, of course, um, Ash and Go, um, Ash and Farfetch go at a dead end. Of course, um, they see a crack in the wall and Farfetch sees a crack in the wall. It's like, uh, okay, you're gonna hit it and just hit it and destroy the wall. Um, you know, with, um, because, you know, it's like, um, this is last with cause um with storm. Oh my lord. It's trying to see like more like how um Ash and like you know a guy like Farfetch doesn't really listen to Ash and it wants to battle like itself. It, like it wants to do its own thing about with its own self. And it was storm is kinda of seeing like okay, he just like he yeah, like he's not listening to Ash, so yeah, you know, yeah, it seems like you're not listening to Ash and stuff like that, of course, you know, they start to um, go a little bit more further and um, listen to them, it's kind of like, you know, this isn't like how they should be battling with them, they shouldn't really be fighting or with each other, they should be together, fighting together, be with one, be in one, be synced. Um, then of course, um, Farface like that falls in a hole, of course, Ash um, starts to grab it and stuff like that, and then of course, Ash falls in with it, so yeah. Yeah, keep falling and stuff like that, so yeah, of course they keep falling and stuff like that, but actually they um, managed to get them to catch each other and get back up, so yeah, of course, um, Ash gets, um, Galley Farfetch is, um, beat, um, Sword Root, um, always got, like, Bitter Root, so I can't remember the name, it was like a Radish, uh, yeah, it's like a Radish, like, Sword, where they, I like Ash just, like, like, it's Sword, Sword, but Ash just catch it and stuff like that, because I mean, it's false, of course, Farfetch sees, like, Ash, you know, gum, you know, is, um, helpful with stuff like that, you know, they kind of start building a bond to each other, because you know what Pokemon are, they always like, oh yeah, they're not building a bond, literally falls, or whatever, and gets right back up to it. Of course, Farfetch sees, um, Ash's, um, companionship, he sees, um, Ash's, like, kindness, you know, um, we got a Farfetch so prideful, but then with Ash, like, you know, he got, uh, he liked, um, kind of, um, no, go back quick, but he kind of liked, um, he, um, drop the bit, he, um, yeah, because, um, yeah, Ash falls, guys to beat, then, of course, he's like his companionship, like his nice and stuff like that, you know, typical Ash thing. So, of course, um, God of Farfetch, like, I never really seen, like, kind of companionship like that before. So, yeah, of course, they, like, they have each other's back. That's how Ash kind of is, you know, he always has his Pokemon's back. So, yeah, of course, um, they finally go and Ash finally catch up with each other with, um, Farfetch and, um, um, Farfetch Scyther. Ash goes, of course, they all catch up with each other with the guy. It's like, oh, Ash, you guys, it's so prideful. Ah! Like, ah, you guys, thank you, thank you. So, when I see it, of course, then they start to battle each other. They actually get swords and they actually start, um, you know, they go start battling each other for the next part of the trial. And, of course, you see a Kef, 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 Klee, Kef, 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 Klee, Kef, 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 Um, I can't really, again, I could not think of what that, of course. And they start to unbattle it and stuff like that. I mean, they say, oh, yeah, it's so small, but no. Um, then, of course, um, Pikachu starts to catch out, um, seeing them battle all together. So, yeah. Of course, in the final test, like, them all battling together, see if they truly are all synced together. So, yeah. And, of course, we see Angel Slash, Gallia Farfetch, no, Angel Slash, I'm um, battling Farfetch, and, of course, Scyther, Suki, of course, we see Kefki, um, and fighting with Gallia Farfetch. Um, we see them just battling back and forth, so, like, see how Kefki's, um, super fast, stuff like that, for, like, being, like, a steel type, and I was, like, you know, super small, stuff like that, but they see, like, a steel type. And, of course, was the kind of comments on Ash and Go, you know, they train the Pokemon really well. Then, of course, they start, um, doing back and forth battle, and see, so, yeah, they just start battling each other, like, crazy. So, that's that's actually really cool, like how, I kind of like how, um, Kefki, um, you know, started to, like, do his own thing, but, you know, Edge Slash and Whisk Storm kind of, like, Storm kind of, like, you know, um, bat each other's backs, so I think this is kind of episode, it's kind of episode symbolizing, like, them going back and forth, you know, having a bond between their own Pokemon, um, like, a stronger bond, you know, with the Pokemon and stuff like that, a <laughs> stronger bond, Pokemon, uh, uh, so, yeah. Um, then, um, yeah, of course, they, yeah, they have each other's backs and stuff like that. They start to fight up, uh, not fight with each other, but they start to, um, kind of cover each other's weak points, you know, with Storm, um, with Storm go goes back and just, like, comes in, of course, you know, even them being perfect, saying that makes sense. And of course, they all start to band together, start to, um, you know, try to win up against them and stuff like that, of course, you know. Um, then, of course, you know, um, yeah, Age Slash and, um, Gallup Arthur start to fight off Ash and Westcott, um, with Storm start to fight off as well. And of course, um, um Age Slash gives the, um, idea to just protect. Of course, um, Gallup Arthur comes back and jumps right back in. Of course, you know, not listening and stuff like that. Typical thing. Then, of course, you know, Ash is to be distracted. With Storm, uh, with Storm has Ash, catches Ash off guard. Um, Kefki and, um, Yo are starting to kind of, like, you know, kind of go back a little bit more, too. Um, Go, go, go gets a little bit overwhelmed by Kefki, Kefki, and of course, um, Scyther and, um, Go get the idea from um, Chirac to start working together a little bit more, because Wickstorm, um, Ash, you know, Wickstorm puts Ash in the corner, of course, Galley Farfetch kind of sees him, 
um, in the corner. Look like he doesn't want to help him, but then um, he gets a realization of Ash's um, companionship, um, of course, and um, happiness and you know, consideration for others. So, of course, jumps in and um, saves Ash and stuff like that at the very last second. Of course, Ash is always ready to face off the next challenge. Like he always does, gets right back up. And Slash starts to go in for the final blow. And of course, you know, Gallic Farfetch gets right back up, trying to help out Ash. So, yeah, actually, he just walks over, goes over, Mage Slash to Ash, and just starts being able to look the storm. So, yeah, showing the bombs from Ash and, um, you know, Ash's consideration. And first, it's like, you know, Gallic Farfetch is on. Um, you know, determination to win, I guess, for anger and stuff like that, the way it battles, battles by itself, but uh, with Ash, they battle together and stuff like that, you know, they it just falls on, like, reads, I think, books, um, books on board, and he decides to attack, um, guy like Farfetch, it literally goes, like, Ultra Instinct, guy, but it literally goes Ultra Instinct, then, of course, um, you know, he decides to try to, um, come in, but I think Gallic Farfetch reads his movements, and, of course, um, goes in for the final, um, blow and stuff like that, with Ash, or it just go in full charge, he usually does, of course, they win, of course, kept being, um, Kept, you know, of course, um, they'll win their, um, win with their strategy and stuff like that. And of course, you know, the hell they beat, um, Excavalier and stuff like that, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, it was kind of, of course, um, raising over the, um, you know, the whole episode just praising over Ash and Joe and stuff like that, of course. Um, then how they work together with the Pokemon. Again, another good episode for, um, Ash and Golly are Farfetch and guys getting them working together. I got my full thoughts to end this episode. Yeah, of course, they win their medals and stuff like that. Then, of course, um, with Storm, with Storm you know, being the you know, steel type man he is, um, he actually gets the idea of, um, you know, trading over, which I didn't see before, trading over, um, um, Scyther with the uh, metal, um, metal coat and just trading it over and evolving it to Sizzle, which is actually freaking insane. So, yeah, it does a trade over and evolves a trade evolution. They just like goes like, I think, first ever trade evolution. So, yeah, when I first saw this, when I was scrolling through, I didn't see this before at all in the episode, and I was just like, holy crap, this is actually really cool. Like, I like this. I like it though, so yeah. Um, I was like, holy crap, this is actually really cool. So, yeah, of course, um, with Storm, um, you know, this idea, of course, you know, goes hesitation, doesn't know about it or anything like that. So, of course, you know, it fully evolves it. I, I do like it though, so maybe he'll catch a new Scyther in the future, or he'll catch, like, you know, another Pinter or Heracard or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty cool though, honestly. I do love this part of the episode. It's actually really cool and interesting, something we never saw before. It just kind of came out of nowhere. So, this episode's actually really cool though, of course. Um, then, of course, you know, the episode starts to end up with Ash and Go, of course, reflecting on their, um, you know, paths and stuff like that, of course, with Storm complimenting, of course, Ash and Galilee Farfetch, they're working together, sharing their bond. More, of course, we got, um, Go and Sizzle, of course, you know, and, of course, we got the Cuts of Fist and the episode ends right there. So, yeah, the episode's actually really cool, though. I'm gonna give my full thoughts here and stuff like that. So, yeah, the episode was great. The old Scar wearing armor was actually really cool. Brand getting the idea of Ash and Go going to see, um, Rick Storm and, of course, Galar. It was actually really amazing as well. Um, but, yeah. Um, overall though, again, it's like a trading kind of ground episode, of course, at, you never know how Go and Scyther are going to be perfectly in sync, because Ash and Go, um, Go and Farfetch are not in sync until, um, um, Ash actually shows his, like, compassion and kindness for others, and of course, you know, following with Pokemon, you're catching Pokemon, you're worrying about something else, like, worrying about his, um, his, um, Gallic Farfetch's sword slash beat, um, getting that first before he actually caught him a little bit, though, so of course, when they start to get back up, the next thing was really cool for Ash, you know, to kind of, um, have um, Gally Farfetch just back and stuff like that. So that actually was really cool though. I actually did like this episode. I loved it. It was great. Beautiful. It was great. Then of course, you know, the end of the episode was like they're evolving to Sizzle was freaking insane. I, I didn't expect the end of the episode. That was actually really cool. And of course, um, which I think as well. Um, it was the good with the um, bones, you know, um, actually Gally Farfetch just keep going and going. And I did love it how, you know, Gally Farfetch purposely let a slash, you know, go then just start attacking West Scott, like, hey, I got your back, Ash, and stuff like that, so yeah, again, the bomb with him in this episode was actually really cool, I loved it, it was amazing, I'm glad they, um, kind of, like, they have a more separate connection, which every Pokemon show kind of does, that. but again, it's just, like, uh, Galia Farfetch is, like, the third episode, I believe, for it, personally, though, but I said I was gonna review when they come out, and stuff like that, I didn't see it in the preview, when I saw, like, the preview a couple times, so yeah, love the bomb uh, for Gash, uh, for uh, Gash, Ash and Galia Farfetch was amazing, um, so they're coming out of nowhere, getting sizzle or Perfect. Love the episode. Perfect. Gonna end, the, end, gonna end the video here. Loved it all. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good joke. Again, though, stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. If you're always playing out, if you're playing out, if you're playing on going out anywhere in the world, let's make sure to wear a mask. If you're on a plane, wear a mask. Wear a mask. Like, like my boy Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow said. Wear a mask. Now I gotta do better. <clears throat> wear a mask. See ya. Um, I saw my beer say. Wear a mask. Um, gonna end the video here. What do you guys think about the episode? Do you like it? Do you hate it? The last couple episodes have been amazing. Probably gonna take a break from Pokemon right now until I go. Whatever, probably mix. Oh, no. I'm kidding though. So yeah, um, this probably could probably be like December or whatever. You know, near November, October. They didn't do this episode. You know, no Pokemon game every year. Woo! So yeah, I'm gonna go end the video here. Loved it all. Loved it all. Loved it all. So yeah, see you guys later though. Okay, though. So.